What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. All right, so let's... Uh... Let's get started. Yeah, it's one of those webinars. Dude, it's gonna, oh, yeah, be one, it's gonna be one of those webinars because after I'm done with my two sparkling waters, it's gonna be time for, for the claws to, to come out. Yeah. All right, so yeah. So welcome everybody um, to uh, our, our weekly strategy webinar. Today, we have an awesome, uh, awesome special guest, Harry, who's, who's joining me. And we're gonna be going over some longs, some long strategies. And you know, the very first one we did uh, it was kind of like a longs one-on-one, like, like, you know, m most of the room is short sellers and like, you know, like the people are really like, how do I even get into a long? Right. So it was kind of like a longs one or two. Uh, I'm calling this one like a longs one, one longs one one I'm calling this one like a longs one Oh two. Cause we're going to get a little bit more in depth, like a little bit more strategic. We're going to talk about a little bit more strategic approach approaches. Why does it feel like there's only seven people here? Nope. There's, there's almost a hundred. Oh, wow. Yeah. We'll see. We'll probably get there. Um, but yeah, so we'll go into a little bit more strategical stuff. Like it's funny, Harry, you're the only guy I really talk to in the morning, like about stocks every now and then I'll talk to Joe, but like mostly like you're my go-to if I want to, if I want to talk to someone, because like it's hard because like it, there's not that many longs. Like, it, like imagine if I, if I message James, right. I'm like, so, so James, like, I know you're short, but like I'm buying here. Like that would just, I feel a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I message James in the morning, too, because I'm like, James, yo, what's what's the easiest thing you can borrow right now? And James is like, oh, well, this one. And I'm like, OK, that one could be a uh, potential. Let's get started. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah, just to, just the last webinar Harry and I did, it, in case you forgot, we, we went over um, how to start how to start long. Like if, you, if you're brand new or if you're coming from a short, how do you start? How do you overcome the fear of it? Right. And we talked about how the first thing you have to do is figure out a pattern. Don't just start longing because, you know, shorting's expensive or, you know, you have to long. You should only start longing if you actually see a pattern, not because, like, you're experiencing frustration. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we talked about, uh, and Harry and I still throw this out in chat every day. Like, we talked about what is dump risk and the importance of dump risk in everyday trading. Like, it, it's something that Harry and I are always worried about. Like, dude, this has dump risk. Dude, this has dump risk. Yeah. Um, we talked about the difference between longs versus shorts. And a quick recap. Remember, uh, shorts, it's more, you know, shorts is more of a timing play. Longs, you have to be a little bit more stock picky. Like Harry just said, like he'll message him, what's the most easy to borrow? It's very important. Like for a long, you want to pick the right stocks, whereas pretty much every short's going to go, every stock's going to go down. It's just a matter of time with the shorts. Not every stock is going to go up. So it's more of a if versus when game. We went over how to look for traps. Harry pointed out some great things about um, soaking and looking for traps. You know, w you know what kind of stocks are likely to trap, where they trap, what it looks like when they trap. And then I touched upon like, you know, how sometimes for longs, the best ones that work are the ones are, are the entries that have the, the best, you know, risk for reward because longs kind of all think alike. No one wants to buy a small cap stock when it has really high risk, when it has dump risk. That's why these stocks dump because there's not enough demand because there's too much dump risk and longs won't buy it. And yeah, that was just a quick recap. So Harry, take it. Okay. Well, this one was today, I guess, like before we kind of get into this, like uh, you're going to see trades here that are like, you know, like pretty good and like different types of setups, like within like these kind of like trade ideas. So like, I probably trade on average, like maybe like five, six tickers in the morning, every morning, like long, just for either bounces or just for, you know, types of plays like that. So like, I just tried to include like a little bit of everyone in all these ones. And uh, so this one was today. And like, yeah, like Austin, like Austin just knows what I'm thinking. Like when he made these slides, like 
I was reading over everyone, like before he kind of like, I was reading over all the slides and like, he knew exactly kind of what I was doing here. Basically like, and like, you can notice how these are all like kind of little scalps. Like I'm not just like buying at the bottom and saying, okay, this is going to squeeze to like $18. You know, like they're all like scalps similar to like shorting. So I guess the first trade, I just kind of took it uh, off the highs there and just like kind of sold like quickly up for just a nice little like kind of just like technical type of bounce play right there. Like, you know, after you get like kind of a hard slam, like you're probably going to get some type of pop. That's like kind of something that I see really often. And then I started kind of I saw this slam candle coming and I just like kind of set some orders for the for a spike and I kind of wanted it to go higher, but I noticed it was stuffing a view up. So I just took it off. And the thing that I noticed about this stock and a lot of people were pointing it out was that you could tell that there was a lot of emotion in this type of stock. You could tell that it was really, really, really thin. And the thin ones like this, I know that there was a lot of dump risk and it would kind of got a little bit weaker. So I kind of just avoided it. And I was like, okay, I'll take some at the like three line area and see how that does. Three doesn't work out Then I'm probably not going to trade this. Or maybe I might take some off 270. And I took some off, off the three area. And then I, I was I was kind of hoping for it to break VWAP, but when I saw that it wasn't, I just took it off. And I kind of do this thing where I don't like where I don't like longing twice on the same line for some reason. And maybe I should have taken some small, but I thought that maybe it was going to go a line lower. Like it might have. I thought that it was going to go to like 270 area, like that 280 line. And so what I was kind of planning for was like it to go underneath three for people to get stopped out and then we get a bounce back up into three and we didn't really get that and we ended up getting the squeeze and I was kind of pissed but I basically just said to myself like you know like this is kind of how some of these things go you're not going to get all the squeezes so then I kind of just bought that same type of dip move like I did earlier and I mean that was really about it for this one fledgling longs I don't know I, I couldn't think of a word that it's, it's not novice or beginner, but it's not adept either. So fledgling. Anyway, so th when, 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 when we're talking about longs and when we're trading longs, um, there, there are some overarching assumptions that, like, that, that you have in your mind when you're trading. And my four overarching re re assumptions are that the stocks on the day will not have charts that go straight down. And if you go back to my first price action webinar when I, where I kind of made that game, that game that I kind of made up wasn't really like just for fun. Like that's, I mean, that, that's how I, that I, that's how I make my trading setup. It's like, what do I not see in the market and why don't I see it? And for me, that's just the way my brain works. I, I reverse engineer it the other way to say, well, why, you know, how can I trust do my setup? Well, it's because I don't see the opposite very often. That's just the way my brain works. I have to reverse yeah. engineer it like that. So like, like, for example, like this first one, there's a reason like you don't see charts that do this. The only ones that you do see that like this are like chat room pumps. That's the only ones. And, and this, honestly, if it's a chat room pump, it's more like up down. All right, it's not like a big move up, big move down. But like, even if a stock is a turd and it belongs, like if it went from 50 cents to two bucks and it might belong at five cents, that, you know, that still doesn't mean that when it's at two bucks, it's gonna snap your finger, it's gonna go back to 50, right? Even if they're turds, they still churn along the way. Sometimes they even go higher, right? The point is, is that they will not, a stock, a, a stock that's up big percent on the day or a strong gap or a strong powerful move, even if the move is unwarranted, the stock will not go straight down. So what does that mean? That means there's areas of opportunity, even on a downtrending ish, which eventually all small caps become, or they're eventually downtrending from the ultimate high, right? Like, like, like CLSK, it had the ultimate high right there, pre-market and at the open, but still we got, you know, nice longs on it on the, you know, on the, on the ride up. There's play in between. So that's the overarching assumption is that you don't see this pattern. So there's play in between. And so now the second question is where, where do I participate? Right. And so that's literally the game one, two, it's not going to go straight down. It's going to have some balances somewhere, you know, where's the most likely place for the balance. And that's, I mean, de facto, that's a long. That's, 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 that's how longs play in small cap. The second one is that the overarching assumption is that shorts get too excited. And like, yeah. it's, it's like, put it this way. If they're, <laughs> this is sounds so dumb. If there weren't shorts, these would go fucking straight down. Like, if there were no shorts, they would do this. <laughs> like if yeah. it was just longs, if it was just longs, this is the charts you would see. But because they're shorts, they go up, right? So 
that's the overarching assumption is that shorts get too excited. They see, you know, there's the thing about the stock market, especially small cap land. You honestly, like, I, I sometimes underestimate how many fucking people are yeah. looking at these stocks with me. Like, it's in the millions that yeah. are looking at these stocks with you. So, yeah. like, um, and and they, everyone has an, you know, opinions are like buttholes, right? Everyone, everyone has one, and they all stink. You know that with millions of people watching it, and that's, and this is why when stocks are have large volume. Those are the ones that we like. Why? There's so many competing ideas that you know that, like, I, you know you can trust the lines because there's a million other people with you watching it and, like, buying right there with you, helping you. All right. I will see you guys all Monday. All right. See you guys. See ya. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.